Lord, you have examined me. You know me. Psalm 139.1 Hello and welcome to The Well, a spiritual growth experience from Saddleback Church. My name is Brennan Bathauer, and I'm excited to journey with you into a time of refreshment, remembrance, and restoration. The Prayer of Examine. While something like this ancient prayer has served Jesus' followers for centuries, a Spanish priest named Ignatius of Loyola put together this structure about 500 years ago. The goal of this time with God is to reflect back on today, or if you're practicing this in the morning, yesterday. It walks through five steps, all guided by Scripture. First, Take time to remember that you are in God's presence. Second, reflect on your day through a lens of gratitude. Third, ask God to help you reflect on your day. When did you act like Jesus? When did you miss it? Fourth, face your shortcomings for the day and ask God for his forgiveness. And fifth, look forward to the day to come walking with God into whatever is ahead. This is a reflective prayer exercise that you can come back to over and over again. Use this exercise whenever God brings it to mind. If you'd like to build this into a daily or weekly habit, you can just replay this exercise every day for one to two weeks until you get the rhythm of the prayer, then simply practice on your own. And with that, let's begin. Acknowledge His presence. Find a quiet place. Get away from the noise and the busy. Take a deep breath and get settled. If you need more time at any point, feel free to hit pause along the way. Imagine this examine exercise as a rich time with you and Jesus on a couch together. Playing on the screen in front of you are video clips from your day and Jesus has the remote. Let him hit pause, choose the clips he wants to bring your attention to, and converse with you about what he sees and wants you to see. But before playing any clips, take this moment to remember that God is right beside you. This morning, you woke up into a world that God created. As you took steps through your day, God walked alongside you God watched, God led, God nudged, God spoke, God comforted, God worked, God held you. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me. Acknowledge his presence. Review with gratitude. Now let's spend some time in gratitude. Let the Spirit bring to mind moments from the day that show His abundance, His love, His comfort. This is the point where Jesus shows you the clips of your day that showcase His goodness to you. Let Him guide you to the big things and the small things. Everything from your breath this morning to the moments of beauty put on display before you from the gift of the people you intersected with today to the way he guided you when you needed him, from the flavors of the food you ate to the way your loved one's face looks when they smile. Reflect with joy on these moments, then thank your loving Father who gives you these good gifts.
Psalm 139, 13 through 14. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Reflection and examine. Now it is time to look back through your day in reference to your words, actions, feelings, and behaviors. Hand Jesus the remote. Let the Spirit guide you throughout your day. What feelings did you experience today? Boredom? Excitement? Anger? Compassion? Fear? Resentment? Calm? Go to those moments and talk to your Father about them. Who did you interact with or have conversations with? How were you Jesus to them today? Where did you fall short? Where did Jesus show his face through others today? Where did you notice God's presence and where were you oblivious? Spend time with God, bringing to mind the moments that he wants you to see. Psalm 139, 1 through 6. Lord, you have examined me. You know me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You study my traveling and my resting. You are thoroughly familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Review with repentance. As you reflected on the day, you likely encountered some moments where you fell short of who God made you to be, where you may have been out of tune with him. Think back to those conversations where something was said or not said or where you responded in a way that Jesus would not respond, or a place where you had a thought that was not captured and made obedient to Christ. Where today did you act on your own instead of in line with the spirit within you? Where did you live out of an identity other than an adopted son or daughter of the king? Let God graciously bring these moments to mind. Ask your Father who loves you, for what do I need to ask forgiveness? Is there anything I need to make right, whether by intended or unintended actions? In what ways would you have me grow, mature, change, or heal? Let him reveal these things that embrace you with his truth and grace.
Psalm 139, 23 through 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Look forward to tomorrow. Your time reflecting on your day with Jesus is coming to an end. He has lovingly shown you what he wants you to see. You have thanked him, asked for his forgiveness and help, and now you get the chance to look forward to tomorrow. Your Father wants unhindered abundance for you, within you and through you, and if he gives you life tomorrow, that is a gift of love to be enjoyed, used well, and lived in the presence of your loving shepherd. Ask God to bring to mind What is ahead of you? What meetings, conversations, tasks, or troubles do you know are coming tomorrow? Where do you need God's help to live as Jesus tomorrow where you missed it today? In all things, large and small, commit to Him your tomorrow. Psalm 139, 16 through 18. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Father, Son, Spirit, thank you for caring about me, even about my day. May this life you have given me be lived increasingly for your glory. May I live day by day ever more towards my already identity. I am loved, saved, adopted, set free, set apart set forth. May I live accordingly, for your namesake. Amen.